Hallo Peter, schön dich zu sehen. Servus. Oh, hello Armin, nice to meet you. Hello viewers, watchers, subscribers out there in the whole world, expecting something interesting from us today. <laughs> yes, the followers and, and, the, and Armin's group is welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Club of 60 plus. <laughs> the archery groupies, worldwide yeah. archery mm -hmm. groupies. I mean, yeah. fan club, welcome. Today, no guests, so might be a little boring. So we can't top this with Jim Belcher last time again. It was like incredible knowledge, incredible wisdom from Jim. So it's, you can't beat that, but, you know. But he, he only talks about archery, how boring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why today we make the anti-archery <laughs> podcast. <laughs> For, for that there are, that you guys know that there are other topics out there too, not only bow and arrow. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> yeah, because we also have to, it's a, on us on, on us archers and, and good archers to save the world from everything, from climate change, from yeah. viruses, yeah. from communists and mm -hmm. so on. Yeah. Um, Communists are not bad per se. If the whole world would be full of communists, then it would work. It, it wouldn't work. Well, And you would have no comparison. Exactly. <laughs> But then it would work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with some, some, camp. some concentration camps and so on, and it would work. Yeah. You are soon we will have a few, don't worry. But for, yeah, for the yeah. unvaccinated ones. Yes, for that stupid un unvaxxers. And yeah, you, didn't do a, you didn't do a good job as vaccinator. You didn't get it. Yeah, there are still some unvaccinated around. They can run very fast, you know. Yeah, faster than I can shoot. Yeah, that's a and, problem. And so we are back on theme on the topic because you made a nice video about faster bows and slower mm -hmm. and heavy arrows and yeah. and so on. And uh, I like to correct, uh, not to correct it, but to clear my point of view about mm -hmm. this topic. Um, I didn't say 50 pounds is 50 pounds. I said 50 pounds is 50 pounds, mm -hmm. in fact. But of course, a very well built bow, a, a, a Korean style or recurve mm -hmm. bow, and a very bad built long bow, of course one would outperform the other and the opposite would also be true if i have a very well made long bow with not a lot of mass in the limbs and springy mm -hmm. limbs and you know a lot mm -hmm. of working lever mm -hmm. and and a very not the made uh, recurve or, mm -hmm. or 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 asiatic style bow mm -hmm. of course the long bow would outperform mm -hmm. the asiatic bow yeah so that's what I wanted to say. And it don't depends on the length of draw, but on the power stroke. And I don't know if a longer draw but the power necessarily stroke strokes longer than but a long power, power stroke means that the energy and the time where the string can put energy yeah. on the arrow. And that's yeah. why you saw yeah. I, I shot two bows from Samad Archery. The longbow was Samad Archery. It's a simple bamboo, ash bamboo, laminated bow, no glass. And I shot the Jürgen from Sarmat Archery, which is their kind of Manchu bow. It's even longer than the long bow, but has small sears on top. It's the same build, same bamboo, ash bamboo, and same poundage, but at 32 inches. So I draw four inches longer and shoot the same arrows. And they are not that much faster, but they are a little faster. Yeah, but that Because the may, arrow is longer in contact that, with the that, not necessarily depends on the longer draw. Maybe this bow is a little better built than this one or so. You, you know what I mean? The material, but it's longer, it has more mass in the limbs. So then it would go against what you say. The, um, and I even say, I always say less mass in the limbs is better for efficiency, but it seems to have some benefits. Otherwise they wouldn't have done or built these bow designs. If a long bow, would be enough to build, you know what I mean? Even as a composite bow, if they could take horn, wood and sinew and make simply a normal long bow out of it, it's way easier to build than with all these complicated sears. Yeah, yeah. They would have made only a long bow, but they must have figured out that these bows have some benefits in some way. Otherwise, they wouldn't have, have built them in this complicated I way. I don't know. I don't know. And we don't know how many they had. So yeah. 
Rhythm. Of course, in the moment, I get a really well-performing hill style bow. I will, of course, choose then a well-performing Asiatic bow, I hope, in the same poundage I have. Yeah. And then we do another comparison, not only on 10 meters, we will do even a 30 meter and we measure the speed at 30 meter and the impact power on 30 meter if there are some differences or whatever but i choose and only two bows and not five and shoot with the different arrow yeah, ways because yeah. i go gaga and think about that uh if you make a long bow mm -hmm. with a long with long limbs mm -hmm. uh, and it's not well made so not every inch of the long limb will work optimally mm -hmm. Or, or perfect and if you have a shorter bow mm -hmm. so you force the material more into working mm -hmm. you understand what i mean yeah. so it's a difficult topic yeah but we have to start at a point yeah or at least yeah. i because i wanted nice. to know that because i couldn't leave this comment like 50 pounds is 50 pounds because it always depends still on the efficiency of a bow and yeah. you can even calculate the efficiency of the bow when you do the draw curve and with it, or then you get an, an, a value of efficiency and then you see um, what the bow is doing. Greg Eakin says mm -hmm. his hill style long bows will shot 100 feet per second plus the poundage. Mm -hmm. So you have a 60 pound bow, it would be 160 with a 500 grain arrow around. Mm -hmm. Okay. About that, that's kind of fist. Mm -hmm. Rule of thumb, yeah. Yeah, rule of thumb, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Makes your life easy, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And same is uh, uh, John Schultz also had a nice formula on bow length. And I think it was like that when you draw 28 is is uh, 68 when you draw 30 it's 70 when you draw 26 is 66 or 64 mm -hmm. yeah. and you can choose always one inch short or so if you like to stress the bow more if i'm drawing 26 28 and have a, a 64 inch bow Mm -hmm. for hunting maybe so i stress this bow more and it's more mm -hmm. handy maybe Mm -hmm. and so on <clears throat> but if you just draw 26 and you have a 70 or 72 yeah, pound long bow so you don't stress yeah. the bow enough to get the best performance out of Obviously. it yeah. mm -hmm. okay so what other topics we have do we have a night and a, a new conspiracy or something interesting yeah i believe i mean i told you already before in the pre-talk that we will soon I mean, with this COVID, I don't know how long they can hold all these lies because it's it's like a spider web, but strand by strand, the lies come. And even mainstream media is realizing that some things are not right anymore and they can't right. simply follow what they get from above. They simply yep. start doing journalism again. And and so I think that, this, that the thing is changing slowly. And as, you, as in, in Germany, the the... The state of emergency will run out on the 25th of November, so yep. this month, end of this month, and then afterwards it might be hard to get another lockdown or whatever because there is no, 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 no base for it anymore. So maybe that's why they push now so intensely or freak you out with this 3G now to 2G, and we will have lockdowns in Austria for the unvaccinated ones that that they get at least as many as possible into the yeah. needle and then afterwards say hey, okay what can we do and now nee, 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 you see that your two <clears> shots <throat> don't help you need a third shot so and next year it will be like so you have only two shots do you count as a non-vaccinated one you need to have a yeah. third shot otherwise you are you, it's the same treatment as one who never got the shot and so yeah but and this that will break the strategy because as you said if you vaccinated two or three times and then after six months or one year they say you are like an unvaccinated and additionally like they like to do in austria yeah. uh, if you're fully vaccinated two times or three times it doesn't yeah. matter you will also you also have to be tested when you like to go to a restaurant or to cinema so mm -hmm. so i think then these good folks which said okay vaccinate me two times everything is over i can live with that 
they will then also be against the third yeah. and fourth shot. I don't know. They they fell so easy for the first <clears throat> two shots, and a lot of them will fall for the third shot. And for okay, it's necessary to be tested again. And of course, maybe they said in the beginning we can travel now easily when we have the two shots. But now, of course, I understand uh, we we need to take the test again because even as we know and as we predicted that the vaccinated ones spread the virus even more than <laughs> the not vaccinated ones. I don't know, they will sell it in a way that most people, again, don't get the point and will say, okay, then yeah, give me the third shot. I think it will, yeah, many it will, will change. Many will realize that it's wrong, but when you look in, in the uh, Emirates, three shots yeah. required and you need to test if you want to go in a cinema or in, in whatever, in, in a club. So it's, it's an Israel, look at them, they, they, they show it. And today you saw the interview in, 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 in Belgium, this hospital, that the emergency beds are full only with fully vaccinated people. I read so about there that, is yep. a change, but of course, media tries to put this out of interest because it doesn't yep. work for their agenda. Yeah. At the moment, the extreme leftists or the leftists and the media people are the, the drivers of the pandemic yeah. because they demand for more restrictions and more you know uh yeah more shots and more everything yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There is. yeah and i think that because there is a change going on and you don't know how or we don't know how it will turn out next year and then they will come with the next of course it will be global the global change the climate change which is always yeah. changing but they tell me now look I can't agree with you because the last 40 years, the, the climate, uh, the, the temperature, the average think, temperature raised one degree. Oh my just, God, you're going to die think, now. Just think about that. Just think about that arrogancy, about that hybris. Yeah. If you say, you know, we will change the climate of the world. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like if one said, you know, we like to slow down the rotation of the earth. Exactly. So let's all run in one direction. So we will slow it down yeah. and, and, and everything will be better. It's the same craziness. It's the arrogance of human beings. No animal would be yeah. so arrogant even thinking like this. This is only our, yeah. our, our ego minds structure that we, but you see it you, and you can't change the climate. If whatever, even if we, stop driving cars in all Germany and Austria and put all heavy industry to sleep, nothing will change. <laughs> it's or so minimal that you don't you even... Would, you would have... And think about that. So, of course, we all have two cars and we have, you know, refrigerators and a wash machine and everything. And, 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 and how is it called? Air conditioning and so on. Um, and so we are just a few... Uh, people who have enough money to afford this all this stuff yeah. so think about if every person on the world also in congo and in yeah. india and so on and they would have a car and air condition and so on mm -hmm. so in that case it mm. would be really the not for me but mm. i can understand the plan to reduce i don't believe in that you don't believe in depopulation okay it's fine no but, but you see, it's already going on now that many kids, vaccinated kids, simply die a sudden death. Nobody can explain why. Sports stars, they get their shots, they simply die. This micro clottings in the blood has its effect. And you know, that's okay. Some die, okay. Some die also for the virus and some die mm -hmm. from the vaccination. But think about how many, how many, uh, people die because of abortion yeah way <laughs> more or or die from starving because they don't have food yeah or in car accidents or from or, smoking or from muslim terror yeah, yeah there's not so many oh every every week there are some yeah in austria and in germany of course i feel this few with the knife attacks and stuff okay yeah yeah, mm -hmm. but these are not terrorists. They are uh, have psychic. They have psychological problems. Psychological from a country like Syria, they have mental. Yeah. They have post stress distress. Yeah. What is the PTSD? Uh, whatever. 
post stress uh, syndrome or, or trauma the, trauma post stress post traumatic stress PST. disorder something yeah. Like yeah. 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 yeah 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 and then they come but, here and of course this the society here in austria and germany they are not so friendly to them and then they lose their job and of course they sit in somewhere in a train and simply stab a few people sure. because they need to vent to the, they need to work on their the emotions you know you you are fleeing from war and torture and horrible sharia law and mm -hmm. so on uh, you flee from free flee from these countries mm -hmm. where this is happening <coughs> and then you come here mm -hmm. and you're so traumatized mm -hmm. And so, so psychologically uh, ill mm. that you have to stab some persons no. or to, or mm. to, you know, rape some mm -hmm. 15 year old girls and kill mm -hmm. them and so on. Mm. I understand this. Yeah. No, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Because when World War II was over, our mm -hmm. grandfathers came home from war and they all became uh, rapers and knife stabbers mm -hmm. and 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 jihadists and <laughs> no, i don't know I, I i only know my best friend is john rambo and when he came from <laughs> war he didn't want to do anything bad he only wanted to walk this one village and then the sheriff brought him on the outside again because he didn't want him in the village and then he went back and then they started pushing him and then he fought back what yes but but they fought him and he fought back yeah. but we don't fight the muslim migrants that's what i said my only because you brought this example i brought example of my personal friend you know i understand <laughs> uh, i was i was ironic of yeah, course yeah, I understood our grandfathers not became murderers and rapists mm. rapists of course not no they went to their job mm. and built up this country yeah. their own country they don't but, need to but they already allowed this democracy to be installed and this is what you can't blame them for but we all i mean it's all we all have blood on our hands so to say i don't you don't know you wash your hands regularly <laughs> yeah like pontius pilatus <laughs> no, <we're> okay, <laughs> it's, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's not easy. I mean, I, I remember, and then you have this, this, but really mains or media, you know, I always get just mentioned Sarmat actually, they are from the Ukraine, and they built this nice pretty bows, and it's a really good company, they're, they're really nice people. And then I did a video about a bow from the Ukraine and then an American guy. Yeah, but, but Ukraine is at war, how can they even, uh, they, they're not you know they're not they have archery festivals and tournaments and then but there's some areas where there's conflicts yeah, it's, yeah. yeah. and the minorities are suppressed that's true the russians and the gypsies yeah. and everyone but it's a normal country yeah and and last time i got a package from sarmat and they put a, a tunic for me and two small flags and one flag was red and black and i was showing it and then was there was a shit storm going on because this is the the Nazi symbol and whatever, and they got private messages. You know that this stands for the Nazis, and and you got proud because <laughs> oh, really, <God>. really. <laughs> and then even Nikita, my friend, there got into these discussions and explained what this that the early ta ta not, not ta -ta Tatars. Tatars had these colors Tatars. and you know whatever. <sighs> these are the Nazis. Is yeah. okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, if, what shall I discuss? Okay. Yeah. So that's why I think we will have the next after this. But this global uh, change will be a uh, climate change. Will be then blackouts and cyber attacks because this is in the agenda of Mr. Klaus Schwab, mm -hmm. and he used. I mean, he didn't create COVID nineteen, but he used it as a platform and a how do you call this board where you jump in the water? A springbrett. Springbrett. Yeah, jumping, jumping board, board yeah. as, a, as, a, as an opportunity directly to install his agenda and it's rolling now with great uh... <laughs> no she's not so stupid but because she found out if she just says blah 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 she don't needs a speech 
Now you, you saw this, her hate speech, but she needed to read every sentence and then she tried to fill it with a lot of emotions. You yeah. know, if, I, mm. if I'm really that full of emotions, I don't need to read my speech. I talk from my heart, but not from a list. And, and so, you see, on, and, and you see how you will turn out when you went vegan or, or if you have too long hair and, and so on. So and too much hormones because you know she's a young woman mm. and so on so yeah. stay away from hormones from vegan foods <laughs> mm. from hippie girls <laughs> mm -hmm. that's crazy yeah 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 what's your new conspiracy Ooh, yeah i told you before uh there's an interesting it's not a conspiracy, but the shooting with Alec Baldwin on this mm -hmm. in, on the set of Rust, yeah. and uh, they are kind of interesting things because the, the 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 camera woman she was shot by uh, Alec Baldwin. She had an interesting background. Mm -hmm. I think her father or so was a a nuclear submarine captain in the in the in russia or mm -hmm. something very interesting if one is interested they have to dig this out on youtube mm -hmm. i don't know if everything is true but interesting interesting that then kind of accident on the film set will cause research and then you find out mm -hmm. oh they were friends with epstein and so <laughs> very he didn't kill himself yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. She didn't yeah. kill herself. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, yeah. she didn't kill herself. But there are a lot of crazy people around, and so I think we 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 should get the the, the curve, the turn to to your best friend from from Kansas. Oh, this is the this is the master. You talk the master of the crazy ones. Master of the the I'm the master of the, the archery. The Frankenstein of archery. <laughs> <laughs> the Godzilla of archery. I don't know I, how it started with me. We got friends on Facebook and then he liked everything and he bought the yeah. book, The Archer, and he got in contact with Carol Cotone, the author of the book. And she's, of course, a nice person. So when you write to her, she always answers nicely. And some people might get this wrong and think she's interested. So we, we were just you know always talking and he said oh come to kansas i see you have a lot of business come to me and then I'll work on my range then i have business blah 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 and we had said these few challenges who shoots faster and yeah we had stuff like this and then all of a sudden i guess he realized that carol is not uh, interested in him and then I don't know. Of course, love turns into hate not, instantly. Not the, not the girl. <laughs> and he, she was then the bad woman. And of course, I am only uh, whatever, because I'm, I don't know how someone can get to these thoughts. And then he made this live uh, book burning on Facebook. <laughs> and it's fine. I simply blocked him and fine. And then, of course, he always makes new yeah. YouTube accounts and, and yeah. commented on my sometimes that i'm a cheater and a fraud and last time you posted that i'm a pedophile and a whatever predator and, and, and because of the book you're like salman rushed you know <laughs> <laughs> satanic <laughs> poems or something yeah yeah you know, it's interesting i mean that's okay but now and you said you are still friend with him and fine and, and others no he uh, shot at my with him and now he shot at your <laughs> at your photo I think you're not so much friends anymore, but when you hear then what he does now to this slingshot warrior channel guy, yeah. he, he made up some stuff against him, like he blamed already Jeff OCP that he's a northern archer and even Mac, is, he doesn't have any idea of martial archery because the only martial archer is Paul Krause. <laughs> And, and his, Lars Anderson. These are the two. Uh, as long as Lars Anderson does anything and whatever is his best friend, yes, of course. But they have a quite a similarity, Lars Anderson and Paul Krause, yeah. because every one of them we invented in our podcast and they don't like to come. No, 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 we didn't. We only invited Lars so far. And this is what I would end up today after. I think I, I invited Paul. 
think, I think you, so. you invited him. Okay, and I would like to officially invite him now because I guess this all this hatred and all this, you know, it's easy behind the keyboard to say some bad things about others and then simply deleting your YouTube channel or making a comment even on my video, taking a screenshot and then deleting the comments again that you don't see. You know, it's 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 kind of yeah, it's a bit immature. But I still would say everybody deserves. Maybe to... maybe he looks older than he is. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he yeah, just looks older. I said don't do drugs, but nobody believes me. <laughs> you know, it started the same with me. He was a big follower of 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 me of man, and and I sent him this poster on yeah. what he which he, he shot, shot on, and and I sent him also a scarf and some nice. I don't know I don't remember, mm. and then he was a big fan of me, but. Mm. Then, since yeah, what, what did you wrong? I I did wrong in, uh, mostly because I didn't criticize as much our guests as he would like to mm -hmm. have me criticize them. Mm -hmm. Is it these are all fakes? These are all just talkers? It's not true what they say and so on. I think every guest we invite uh, our. Our auditory, our viewers can make their own picture yeah. and and listen to the words they're saying and mm. okay, okay, this one is a fool and this one is nice and I don't know. As long as they not uh, are not uh, naughty or or unpolite mm. to our yeah. guests, it's Perfect. okay. Yeah. yeah. I have no. I have, so far, I had no problem with one of our guests. And and if a person is my friend. He's for sure would not uh, would not talk bad or call my guests' names, okay. and uh, yeah, that's what I expect from a friend. Yeah, exactly respect. And he has to have this respect. Okay, if Peter or Armin invites this guy, so it's their thing, and I, it's not on me to criticize their ideas or mm. their. Their, their selection of guests. Mm. Yeah. That's true. But I really would love to have him on. Yes, me too. That's why, Bo, you must probably watch this video again because you still watch every video. I don't know why you do this. You hate us. With because all... it's the best stuff around. He watches our podcast because it's the best stuff around, of course. Not probably. It's <laughs> the best archery podcast out there and we would like to make it better with you on the show, Bo. So we yeah. invite you, please write me an email you find in or write Peter or something. You know the contacts because you even knew all private details of the Slingshot Warrior and you made it public. So he had now a massive problem with you. So you get our details and our contacts for sure too. Write us and we would really like to have you in mm -hmm. our show. And then we can clarify a lot of these things which don't work, which you blame us for something. And maybe you can explain and we can tell you something about it and we can make it clear. Mostly it's always misunderstandings, miscommunication. Let's clarify it on a neutral platform like this Archery Podcast. And 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 if he likes to order pizzas, I dislike salami pizza. So, And I don't uh, like pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I'm this not pineapple guy on pizza. Okay? <laughs> well, how do you like yours? A kind of calzone with a bottle of Johnny Walker inside. <laughs> Sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, you have to, be, have to be creative in prohibition times, you know, that's why they invented calzones. Only calzones. <laughs> you don't know you what can, is in it. You actually. can deliver what you like because exactly. it's big enough. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, so Bo, you're invited, get in contact with us. You can come to our show yeah. and then we can have a long talk as long as you want and as deep as you want. And you can show the world what good guy you are. Yeah, and we, yes, and, and we wouldn't make effect checking on you as we don't do on our other guests. Why you can I? talk shit as long as you can. <laughs> Just no, pour it out. But with respectful, maybe maybe you're capable of doing it. We see. Yeah, yeah. And and I also would like it because we would learn a lot of bad names and and a lot of naughty words. And, and, and now and I think you learn thought processes, how people think, and this is an interesting thing for me because are you sure is something very interesting for me and to <laughs> see how people sometimes 
figure things and then react to things they made up by themselves because mm -hmm. they're non-existent, but they make up something like, like with the slingshot channel guy, who made something up and accused him something then the slingshot guy only made a, a defense video and because of this video both felt uh, whatever attacked and then he got all the private information and like, got it out in a video which of course he deleted afterwards and the slingshot channel guy had really a lot of problems with this action it's, so it's, it's uh, all, I, I feel like I in, the, in, in the in the cold war days this one pushes the button and this one pushes <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. missiles flying back and forth exactly. <laughs> if we stand underneath it oh big oh, 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 hey, hey, look that's a red one. <laughs> oh, this is blue laukai sparkling yay <laughs> yeah no it's just simply because this you know it but I wouldn't expect too much uh, to learn too much about thinking. That's what I wanted to correct you. <laughs> no, 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 he has a lot of time. He has a lot of time to think. I think so most easy. of his most of his actions are not uh, uh, definitely or, or possibly connected to thinking and so on. But I think it's from this brainstem here, back mm. here. You know, it's not about. It's not. It's not. Uh, uh, the source is not the brain of his actions, but the backstem here, mm -hmm. brainstem. The or reptilian how is it brain. Yeah, the reptilian brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. back to yeah. the reptilians. You didn't want to talk about yeah, reptilians yeah, yeah. because you don't think. Maybe, maybe he, he is a good example of a shape shifting reptilian, reptiloid, or an illuminate or something. Is it the what? What do they have in common? When you see a bush on 9/11 sits in this kindergarten, and they tell him that. The, the World Trade Centers and he sits there. They have no empathy. So this is one sign of these guys. They have uh, no you can say lack of, lack of empathy. Yeah. And you saw even short after no, Bush when, was when, on a when party George... and dancing and happily, but, just three thousand people died. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. They they but lack if, empathy. But if it's a nice party or a nice nice children's book, you can forget it. Oh, really? Oh well, Pinocchio is making this and that. You know, if you got the boner, <laughs> no, loser, loser, not the <laughs> Yeah, okay. you don't know. Uh -huh. Too easy, not too easy to judge about. When, when Pinocchio is, is working on a girl, she was said, "Tell me more lies, Pinocchio. Tell me more lies." <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's um, a bad one. I know. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. bad and old. <laughs> of course, but still good. I still like this idea. <laughs> yeah. And then the term morning would become another, and that's fine. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. Yeah, so Bo, check. If you want to come to our show, then you don't have to do this always behind your keyboard, hiding and then <laughs> deleting your accounts and opening a new account and stuff like this. Simply come to our show, we talk, then you can show all the world what what bugs you with me with peter with jeff orsipi with with mac with all everyone of them. and yeah and then you can talk freely as you want and we can answer freely as we want that's all yeah fine yeah. next topic yeah. well we don't have a topic after this one huh? uh next topic is that uh that magen klomp from the netherlands mm -hmm. will start kind of new product line we okay. made an agreement about and a hill style bow a rebel model he will nice. make uh with uh i think he will try to overthink also his his bamboo tempering mm -hmm. process okay. and as far as we talked about also the grip should be made of bamboo of laminated mm -hmm. bamboo so okay. it's a reduction in material mm -hmm. and so on and it should be the kind of Bowman model. We like to make a nice. Bowman product line and also Bowman mm -hmm. arrows. So these arrows so would, look, would look, be then the black, white limbs. Yeah, yeah, with a white belly and mm -hmm. and black, uh, back. black backing. Black backy, bam, a lamb, black backy, bam. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And cool. so that's the plan. And, and he said he will make one for you. Perfecto. And maybe one for me, mm -hmm. and then we can test this both, and then and you would have one to compare with the Asiatic yep, of course. Uh, style pose. and uh, that could be when we make a video about that product or about that bow, mm -hmm. 
then we it's a kind of introduction for the product mm -hmm. video and at uh, this time I, we should see that we get Magen then on the show too then you can yeah yeah we have to have him we invited him already but he's of course a very busy businessman so. yeah he's really busy yeah yeah so i think that's a good idea yep. we will see how it turns out mm -hmm. and a plan for the future mm. but this is what i like when you get a bow from somewhere and this is what i always tell my bow builders too the most problem people have then is getting the right arrows for this bow because many bow builders don't tell you what is the minimum grain per pound i have many of course good ones i tell you look this bow i did a review now of a turkish ultra speed then lukas tells me the bow builder okay minimum grain per pound is seven then I know what I have to deal with, how far I can go. But it's still, you don't know which spine you should get and stuff like this. That I wish that bow builders would always offer. You can have the bow directly <clears throat> plus a set matching arrows in either yep. wood, aluminum, or yep. carbon, or whatever, or bamboo for, for manchu or stuff like this, that you really can get the set. Because this is, you can have the best bow in the world if you have a crappy arrow, Absolutely. you will shoot bad. And you can Absolutely. have a, you can have a snake bow for thirty euros, but you have a good arrow and you will hit the target all the time. Yeah, and, and there's also good. another kind of um, trick or secret inside this mm. idea. If you order a bow, say, oh, make me also one thousand of yeah. nice matching arrows for this bow. <laughs> uh, you will find out if this bow is a charlatan or not. Yeah. Exactly. Because if he makes you really matching good arrows for this bow, then you know this guy knows yeah, about knows what's, what's archery good. and yeah. bow making and so on, and yeah. also arrow making. Would thin out the market a bit, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, fully. And okay. if if he sends you a, a lousy set of arrows with this yeah. bow, you also know about the bow. Yeah, exactly. So it's a good idea. Yeah. Mm. In most cases, I did it. I. When I ordered from Howard Hill Archery, I ordered cedar arrows with yep. the bow. Yep. Fly like that, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I tell I tell everyone, even this guy in, in Australia who builds me, I was like, listen, please make me directly arrows matching for it. Because yep. I don't want to start, then I have the bow here, then okay, now I need to get maybe some Portland cedar shafts and I need to borrow some, buy some arrows and I don't know, blah, so get me directly the matching arrow. I have to say, because I mostly shoot with English longbows and in most cases, hard hill style longbows. Uh, and I mostly use wooden arrows for fun or also carbon and also mm -hmm. aluminum. Uh, you can use a wide range of arrows with the hard hill style bows. Mm -hmm. So I have one with 48 pounds and I shoot the same arrows with the 60 pound mm -hmm. and also with the 65 pound. Mm -hmm. And because I'm mostly shooting shorter distances, mm -hmm. there's no difference. Yeah. And that's a, a, a good a good feature of a hill style bow. He's mm -hmm. not as picky on arrow spine and okay. so like a recurve bow is mm -hmm. or, a, or so. Mm -hmm. And an English longbow is way more sensitive to arrow variations than an American semi longbow. Yep. Okay. Yep. Mm. So that's a good thing. Yep. Yeah. I will see when I get one. And then, of course, if I get the matching arrows and I will try then my arrows, what's the difference? What are they doing? What these. Yep. 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 And as of, I, I think I said it in the past, with arrows, in my opinion, I make them as short as possible. Mm -hmm. Even uh, I'm a fan of heavy arrows, mm -hmm. but if I can cut off one inch of cedar wood or aluminum or something, mm -hmm. I would make them as short as possible because in my opinion, they fly best. Yeah, it's unnecessary weight when you make them too long. It's yeah, simply on, on also, the archery range, we make them instead of 28 the, inches, 29. The so longer, the, the more difficult with spine and everything. Of course. And, and the, you you have a longer leverage on the peak, on the, on the head, uh, point, uh, weight of the point of the mm -hmm. arrow head. Mm -hmm. You know, if the arrow is that longer than mm -hmm. your arrow shelf, mm -hmm. you have a different leverage with the peak 
Yeah, with the with the point weight, mm -hmm. then if the arrow point is just in front of the bow, yeah. and and there's a lot of difficulties with long arrows, in my opinion. Yeah. Yep. And then you see the Amazonian uh, native tribes, yeah, and they have I'm, one meter fifty arrows and and throw twenty six inches. <laughs> I think we talked about. Uh, yeah. in my opinion, the best explanation for this is. I think we talked about in the past when you're hunting in very dense jungle, like mm -hmm. the rainforests maybe are in the Amazonian mm -hmm. area, and you see a monkey up in a mm -hmm. tree, mm -hmm. and you're 10 paces uh, in a distance, about 10 paces mm -hmm. from the monkey or from that big bird, or I don't know. Mm -hmm. And you know, you stick that very long arrow through the branches, to the twigs, mm -hmm. and then it's not 10 paces to mm -hmm. the monkey mm -hmm. because the arrow just has to fly about three meters mm -hmm. to reach the monkey because yeah. the monkey wouldn't see the arrow when the arrow sticks through the brush mm -hmm. and is in front of the monkey. Even the mm -hmm. monkey will not see Mm -hmm. the arrow point or the archer mm -hmm. so in, in bow fishing it's very similar yeah. if you have a short arrow you have 10 meters to shoot into the mm -hmm. river mm -hmm. and if you have a long arrow it's just three meters or so mm -hmm. so that's my best explanation for these long arrows mm -hmm. so you can stalk through dense brush and if you see just a little window yeah. with a part of that ape you stick yeah. that arrow through and it's even easier when you stick it through you don't shoot the, the bush you know you can yeah 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 you can touch you have a clear yeah yeah with a short arrow they may be deflected from everything yeah, and i had this idea when they go fishing that you put the tip under water and then you see in relation yeah. to the fish then where the they, tip is yeah, because yeah. the hardest thing in, in bow fishing is is a fish half meter underwater or one yeah. meter and you need yeah. to compensate for that because you yeah. see him yeah. there yeah. but yeah. it's there yeah. so that so, they maybe yeah. so the most realistic bow fishing is is when you shoot them on the surface yeah. of, the, of the water of if you you draw in some you know bread and so mm -hmm. and their carps are coming up and they are robbing they say mm -hmm. robbing like mm -hmm. to eat that bread and then yeah. you shoot them at the surface that mm -hmm. works best yeah yeah, that's my best ex explanation mm -hmm. for the long arrows. And mm -hmm. it, to me, it makes sense. If yeah. you're hunting in this dense brush yeah. and conditions, maybe. I mean, and also course, with fishing. Of yeah. course, it has a reason. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. You know, this is, I always think these things are proven that they work. And that's why they are like this. Otherwise, yeah. they would do it differently. And they don't. Yeah. And the next thing is they don't have an open field to mm -hmm. shoot. Yeah. So they need they don't, they don't they need don't they don't need a very good arrow flight or mm. or you know they don't have do they have even fletchings on it they have and they have different they have two mm. feathers from mm. the same bird and one feather from this bird and mm. so it's a kind of magic okay side and mm -hmm. and I talked about it with Jorge Perales and he said they even don't know as themselves in some cases why they use this particular fledge mm -hmm. Unfo it's unfortunate that he doesn't have time for us huh? yeah he yeah i did him yeah. once and he never made it and he but he's yeah, busy yeah yeah he we had will a lot try of it again. amazonian native tribes yeah yeah i would love to have him on the show mm -hmm. because this is interesting what what's what's the reason behind these things and how did they do it and yeah and yeah. he's a real an expert in this mm -hmm. subject mm -hmm. yeah Maybe we will get him. Yeah, maybe one day. No, it's, but it's interesting always to, to learn from other cultures. And when you have someone yeah, really yeah. digging in, like Murat, it's very in the Turkish and it's, archery. And, the, it's and, and you see what I said about that long arrows now in the Amazonian. Mm -hmm. You can't find it out if you're just an archer. You have to be a hunter too. Yeah, you have hunter, to think yeah. like a hunter and how would it work and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough an archaeologist or mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. guys in many cases, they are wrong because they're not hunters. Yeah. One time I read in, an, in a book from an, uh, I think a German archaeologist, it mm -hmm. was about Stone Age bows mm -hmm. and so on. Well, I, yes, ancient stuff. And 
he wrote that they had blunt arrows mm -hmm. uh, for small game hunting. Mm -hmm. He was right. Mm -hmm. But they had the blunt arrows because they won't penetrate or damage the fur or the feathers of the mm -hmm. prey. Mm -hmm. So okay. they have no had no idea about the damage a plant arrow does yeah, to the rabbit or, through or so, yeah, 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 yeah. And also the the rabbit was damage. His... So they had the idea, but mm -hmm. they had no practically not, not the real explanation why. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's why I think even the Amazonians, I mean in in, in Asiatic countries, there are these pellet bows. You know, mm -hmm. they have this small pouch and they shoot pellets yeah. for small birds and stuff like this for small game. So, and of course, this would not work in a dense jungle. No. Because you, you can't shoot the, through. On something. a field. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. only you have a different landscape, and then, of course, you adapt with your weapon. Or with your... I, I don't remember the name. Cody would know it. Mm. Um, yeah, we um, asked him, but he didn't have time. We need to work. Even Jim Belcher, I mm. think, would know it. Uh, there were kind of shotgun uh, arrow points in modern mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know, in the 60s or, or even maybe in the 1970s, they had them. I, I don't remember how it worked. They were, it was a kind of shot shell uh, uh, point. And I think there were little, little arrows inside and mm -hmm. they were done like a yeah. shot. Yeah, Lars Anderson made once a video about this arrow launcher. This is an arrow which is tied to the string. And yes, and different things you can attach in the front. Then you shoot and the arrow sticks on the string and simply shoots yeah. the, the, the payload you put in front on it. So you can shoot yep. an egg or whatever, or nails yep. or something, small tips. Yeah, yep. Yep. makes yep. sense. Yep. Mm -hmm. we, we could ask us, but he didn't want to participate. <laughs> yes, I don't know. He's because, right. because he's loyal to, to Mr. Krause. <laughs> best oh. friends these are bloods brothers you know like he probably doesn't know like, ba like batman and robin <laughs> uh, peter like laurel and hardy mm. <laughs> oh when i think about it imagine lars as laurel and bo as hardy mm. with the bowler head mm. and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah Maybe we are. I'm the biggest fan of Laurent Hardy, I have to say. Amazing what they the, did in their times. Incredible. I, I like them more than, than Charlie Chaplin or Buster mm -hmm. Keaton and so on. These yeah. are really funny guys. Yeah, Buster Keaton was more an action guy. The stunts he did sometimes were amazing, like, no question oh. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, also Charlie really... Chaplin. Yeah. Also Charlie Chaplin, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, Charlie Chaplin saw himself as a kind of artist. Mm -hmm. And that's what I dislike. And I'm sure Lauren and Hardy saw themselves as, as good craftsmen, as good mm -hmm. comedians, mm -hmm. and not as artists. And that's mm -hmm. why I love them. Mm -hmm. Because they're, they are more more i don't know serious more more down to earth they don't mm -hmm. say oh i'm making a big work of art movie that no we make 20 minutes of comedy mm -hmm. the worst jokes you can imagine mm -hmm. you remember when they drove their their car through a uh, uh how is it called a rotating saw blade and they, <laughs> they cut <laughs> the, the car in half. No, I don't remember. They said in the car, you know, the, <laughs> the Mr. Hardy <laughs> with his <laughs> tie, and then they drove through this this rotating saw blade and they wow. cut the car in half in between. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> the car fell like that. <laughs> with, you know, with the steering wheel jump. <laughs> yes. yeah. I love it. Mm. But I think one could do these things nowadays, not anymore. These these kind of, of, of joke videos. That is, I think the, the culture changed too much. And, um, you know, <clears throat> in German, we say that... What are you licking all the time and doing that? Can I ask you? I, I'm making the cigarette. Oh, okay. I don't like it 
make it like this. Um, Why not? Um, because you, I don't like to have it. You on. have a white beard, it's fine, you know. Others have a black I don't like to have it on camera voice. when I'm licking a cigarette. No, other, other <laughs> Austrians have, have a black beard and a different voice, you know. <laughs> um, I lost. You my lost. Thread. We, we talked about the culture and about why these movies are nowadays not anymore. Yeah, yeah. In German language, we say. A, a fine blade or you know a, a, a thin blade mm -hmm. back then they used a thin a nice blade with their humor with their mm -hmm. comedy and and what they just put as we say brain cinema or so in your head with mm -hmm. a, with a kind of metaphorous mm -hmm. situation today they make it in mm -hmm. reality they, show it, uh, they don't use the fine, the nice, the sharp mm -hmm. blade. They mm -hmm. they use the wooden hammer method mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. So they in every in every sentence they have to say fuck and sex and mm -hmm. and uh, gay and I don't know what else. Mm -hmm. And and you know these are very low uh, mm -hmm. low level jokes they're making today. Yeah. Um, um, you know. Mm. Horrible, horrible language, mm. and and they even didn't need language for yeah. or another yeah. for their jokes. They work yeah. still today. <laughs> That's true, yeah. and everybody understands them. That's the thing, even without language. All around the world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah, but they were genius. Yeah. I have a book about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So we get a how to style a series bow. <clears throat> yeah. Bowman bow. Yeah. Nice. You only have to grow your mustache, how to style. Mustache. No, no, I have I have then one to glue on, no worries. <laughs> glue ons. With the tapering, how is it called? The that 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 fletching tape. <laughs> of course, yeah, you have fletching tape and a bit super glue, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I never used that fletching tip. It's really good. It's a little fiddly to get it on the feather and cut it off and then get the the, 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 the safety tape off. Yep. But, but you put it on and it's on and you can put the next. So when you have only one fletching cheek, then it's really fast working. But mm. I think I'm right. If I say I never saw if you use a, a, a you know a, a, a true feather not mm -hmm. a, a plastic feather yeah. or so or so i think they all go out of line if when they are in the sun or or somewhere mm. the fletch don't stay straight as you glued it mm. in your fletching cheek but they they warp a little because the fletching tape don't hold them in place in my opinion yes of the front part yeah moves the way. that's why you need to secure yeah. it yeah yeah and that's what i don't like mm. but you only have to send down the quilt to almost nothing then you get this tension out and then you can mm. properly make arrows which yeah. don't stretch you when you shoot and stuff like this but that's a, a miraculous and 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 uh, i don't know mysterious thing you know i used every kind of like uh, you know from this this floor mm -hmm. on water base to high you know nitro based mm -hmm. and, and 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 every kind of lacquer and 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 you know boat paint and everything mm -hmm. and aluminum arrows and red bonds and everything you can imagine and, and carbon arrows and so on and on some set of arrows the feathers won't stay. Mm -hmm. You glue them with super glue, with fletch tight, or how is it called? With everything, they don't hold. Mm -hmm. And and you're sure you made the other set of arrows with the same lacquer, yeah. and there they stick like hell. Mm -hmm. And the next set they they don't. Mm -hmm. they, this yes. is too brittle. They they and so on. It's very mysterious to me. And I'm really picky. You know, I'm using alcohol to to mm -hmm. go over the shaft yeah, so yeah, so yeah. and over the the kills and so mm -hmm. on hmm. interesting yeah 
<laughs> but you don't have to think of it. If you start to think about that, you, mm. yeah, you, you, go <laughs> crazy. you go crazy. Yeah. It's a rabbit hole with no end because it's so the yeah. deeper you start digging, the, the more options and the more in you really go. So you simply, yeah. when they don't think, simply put new feathers on it. And yeah, yeah, okay, don't think you know. about it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Throw them away, make new arrows, and fine. Yeah. It's otherwise you go, go, go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm, mm. I'm one set of shafts. I still have a, a, a friend of mine. Mm. He dipped them, I think, completely white, if I remember well. Mm -hmm. So I, next time I will make me again a set. Nice. Howard Hill style, white shaft meant. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. You see them nice. It's nice. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And they work nice then with the black white bow. Hmm? Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shaft and then mm, white feathers. And or the... imagine white shaft and and uh, one black feather and two whites. And so it's yeah. black and white like the bow. Exactly. And maybe if you like a cock feather, I dislike. Cock. Yeah, I don't like cock feathers. No. But you know, some people like it. Yeah, they try around. It's, with... it's even distracting for me when you see it flying. This cock yeah. feather, yeah, yeah. you always think the arrow is wobbling around, and, whatever. and because and because I'm knocking my arrows without looking at the arrow, so I don't need another yeah. color. Mm, exactly, yeah. that's true. I started now because I have this arrow analyzing tool from Indonesia. I started now all my arrows I have to really measure the length, the weight, and the spine of every individual arrow because, as we last time said. That even carbon arrows, if it's a 500 spine, doesn't mean it's a 500 spine. Can and be 450, you're... can be 550. So I really measure every individual. <laughs> and could you confirm confirm no, something? I, I started with my wood arrows. The carbon arrows still stand over there. <laughs> oh, punch, and I need to start. Um, because I think it's true what, what Byron Ferguson yeah. said about the carbon arrows. Yeah, no, they are not you, so. You trust them too much. Yeah. Yeah, because you made. think they're industrially made and fine. Yeah, but yeah. The good ones, of course, when you pay whatever, as we said, 10, 12, 15 dollars for a shaft, then the, the margin is very narrow. But when you get yeah. cheap shafts, then of course they, they differ very in weight. And I think fine. that I, I think yes, that brands like like Carbon Express or how are the other called with the wooden grain on it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, if you buy a quality product, I'm quite sure, or that's expensive Alaskan or how they call it. Uh, yeah, but I'm, you, you know, I, since I have them, I really love them yeah. aluminum arrows. Yeah, I need to test them then with the Howard Hilbo. Yeah, yeah. Order just 12 pieces of this, mm. uh, le, le, how is it called? Le, legacy, East mm -hmm. Legacy. Eastern legacy. Yeah, uh, these are the same like Byron is using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice arrows. I need to see which spine. I need to check first what the longbow spine with yeah. the heel. And I don't know which poundage, so I need to wait first and I have the bow. Then I order the shot. You know, I always had a good a good uh, advice when when people ask me, I don't know about you know, with self bows and different kind of bows. Mm -hmm what is the best arrow for this bow? I don't know. Maybe it has 50 pounds, but a 40 pound arrow would be nice or a six mm. arrow, and they didn't know. I always said, you know, what is the best advice? If you are at a big tournament, a 3D or so, mm. go through your friends and say, let me try your, yeah. one of your arrows okay. and, and pick up, Third the arrows and shoot different ones and mm -hmm. shoot them and find out what okay. and then you analyze that arrow. Mm -hmm. Then you ask the guy, oh, have you spine That's tested fine, this or, or or is it just mm -hmm. by luck? And then you have to spine mm -hmm. this arrow. Yeah. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you find out. Yeah. And so you have a lot of testing arrows. So you you yeah. don't have to make yourself 10 different arrows mm -hmm. and spine yeah. them and make them. Yeah. Mm, makes sense. Yeah. Mm. And it's not a problem. Most archers are friendly people say, of course, shoot one <laughs> arrow. <laughs> are they? Well, most are not. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
it's, so you don't you you use bamboo arrows, no? But but not wooden arrows. Or no, I have wood arrows. I only rarely shoot them because I'm not the biggest fan of wood arrows. When you draw short, like you say, with with three fingers, twenty eight inches. Wood arrows are nice, but everything yeah. when you draw longer, 33, 34 yeah, inches, yeah, yeah, wood yeah. arrows, they, even when you have them heavy yeah. spined, then you need to go for bamboo. And then, of course, you need to have a bit poundage because bamboo arrows are quite heavy. So yeah. it's always this, this what's right and mm -hmm. wrong. And mm -hmm. carbon arrows, when you need long, heavy carbon arrows, the problem is that the carbon is too lightweight. And what are they doing? They put then a fat insert and a fat tip on it only. And of course, it depends on what you shoot again. It can be nice. Yeah. But when the FOC is too much in the front. Yeah, maybe yeah, you, you know, need the heavier always... spine, then it would work and so yeah, on. Yeah, this is yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think it was also Easton. Uh, they made a kind of um, Kudo arrows from aluminum. Mm. I have one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so also for these problems, there are a whole range of aluminum. Mm -hmm. shafts from Easton. Yep. Wood grain on. Mm -hmm. I have to look at this area out. I have one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very yeah. long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And these are safer than carbon arrows, of course. Yeah, of course, way safer. Especially when you draw that arrow behind your head. It's mm -hmm. way more dangerous than <laughs> you, you draw it to course. your to the yeah. corner of your mouth because you could have the, the arrow in your mm -hmm. in your neck. Yeah, but usually, I think that Kyoto they really shoot carbon arrows. Yeah, but they have very tough uh, bamboo arrows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, bamboo with bamboo is... I would trust, but yeah. uh, with wood, wood I would not trust. No, no yeah. bamboo, bamboo is fine. And, and very it's... cheap carbon, I don't know. <laughs> not in this length. No. I have cheap ones in thirty-six inches. When you shoot them, you know it is like. <laughs> yeah. this feels not good yeah. only when you have a very light draw weight of course poundage bow then it's fine yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's yeah it's true yeah and as i often said before i can't understand the advantage of the longer draw because if you have a well-made bow with a short draw <laughs> yeah yes 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 we had this topic now yeah, you see, when I have my Howard Hill bow, and you said that this is a good performing bow, then I will compare it to a good performing Asiatic bow with the same grain. If 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 they don't have the same poundage, then I need to find arrows matching that both have then whatever twelve grain or something. Yeah, and then yeah. Um, I don't know how it is with modern style long bows, which have a longer handle. Mm -hmm. section and and a little more recurved or you know this reflect, reflect, reflect. Reflect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. i shot some of them they were with a light arrow mm -hmm. very fast yeah but i think as i always say the hill style is like a formula one because it's just the handle and limbs mm -hmm. and so i think these are perf these are performing better in my mm -hmm. opinion okay no, and there are no vibrations mm -hmm. because at the moment you have a kind of reflex deflex and something mm. and you know uh, there are more vibrations than with a mm -hmm. with a with a kind of english longbow mm -hmm. okay. i think so mm. so you have all the energy yeah the, the vibration you get when you use two lightweight arrows what they say you know because you have a certain amount of energy on the string and when you that, shoot a it. too lightweight arrow, then a lot of this energy goes back in the string into the limbs and causes this vibration. Yeah, but the the more the limbs are from the limb construction, like a recurve bow, mm. more, mm -hmm. you know, you can turn them a little and they mm -hmm. are more broader than narrow. And so, so the more uh, uh, vibrations, uh, will be caused because mm -hmm. the material has the ability mm -hmm. to to wobble and to yeah. to get out of shape somehow mm -hmm. okay. and that's not true with the hill style because it's a narrow limb mm -hmm. you can twist the limb there's nothing mm -hmm. for there's no left for vibration so to say mm -hmm. what is true what we talked the last time with jim belcher is if you lose a too wide 
two light arrow mm -hmm. and you have a completely locked bow arm with mm -hmm. locked shoulder then you may feel some what they call hand shock i never had it mm -hmm. and okay. uh, let me see yeah. yeah great 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 what so, else what else nothing I think where's my mini? We don't get any questions anymore from our viewers. We there, so either they fall asleep. They gave. They, they, gave, up. they, gave, they up. gave up. They gave up. <laughs> These your followers are partly angry because it's not their topic always, kind of, and they 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 have don't have questions about these topics we bring up the other guys who like what we talk mm. in many cases if you like something you don't write mm. because it's just when you're angry you write you simply enjoy cases. the show and then that's it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my God, we, we talk about a lot of hunting recently, but it's one of the purposes of bow and arrow was hunting. It's the I mean, root. Obviously to see for what did they build bow and arrow for <clears throat> war and for hunting. So if you talk about... Yeah, and, and I think for hunting in the first place, because of course, every weapon you can use against the white boar, you can, <laughs> you can use a human. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's the root. I can't help them. That's the root of... And that's a cause why they invented the bow and, and arrow. I, and I personally even like that even nowadays they still use bow and arrow, you know, yeah. even in the yeah. in times that even in yeah. America they, they open one month earlier for bow and arrow yeah. hunting. Yeah. So it's 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 really interesting and simply where we are simply connected and rooted. So and, and as we talk with Jim Belch about when you're on your campfire with your hunting buddies and you yeah. go out in the morning while it's still dark and you yeah. go to the wet grass and you sleep through the brushes yeah. it's like going home yeah. where you come from yeah of course and, and and that's a kind of you get connected i'm not a spiritual guy but mm -hmm. you get connected to nature your different things are important mm -hmm. not if your your cell phone is <laughs> giving you the news but it's yeah. important oh how will i get around this brush yeah and will the wind stay in what this direction exactly. and yeah. and am i a good enough shot mm -hmm. and so on yeah. will i bring home the bacon in the evening yeah, yeah. different problems <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah of course it's a challenge and that's that's you need because then you're in the in the most ancient and, and natural fight. Yeah. And that's mm. where humans come from. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be a hunter, you know, a passionate. You don't need to go hunt every year or every day and every, but you have to experience it. Mm -hmm. You have to experience it to understand it. Mm -hmm. And not to judge about oh, these are crazy, they go hunting also. Mm. You have to feel it, you have to experience it, and then you can talk about it. And if you're that far from nature that you say that's just murderous, horrible blood sports, mm. then you should think about if you still know where you're coming from. Mm. Now, I, I think hunting for fun, you know, some really shoot for fun but as long as these animals are processed and eaten and yeah. whatever it's yeah fine. fine by me yeah and uh i mean as you have here as example in malta we are we have a lot of hunters but we only have a few birds to shoot and then yeah. you have one bird in the sky five hunters with the pump gun boom yeah boom, boom. Yeah, yeah you yeah, don't yeah, eat of this course. afterwards because there's yeah. five kilos of lead in it so you know what yeah. I mean? it's simply yeah. just because they have no whatever they, they need to get their satisfaction from shooting a small bird from the sky on the other hand uh hunting also should be, and it's okay to have fun while hunting yeah but you don't the purpose is not having fun. i understand the purpose is yeah. getting yeah, food yeah. home and, get your fridge full and of course back then this uh like teddy roosevelt or so they did horrible things they 
they went to Africa and shot whole herds of antelopes and so on. But you have, you don't can judge them with our today's standards. It was the, the chief hunter there okay, shoot what you like, shoot. Mm. Look, look, there's 40 kilometers full of antelopes. Mm. Shoot. Doesn't matter and, if you shoot 100 or 200. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. And this is yeah. hunting for fun and it's not good, of course. Yeah, but but I they, they didn't extinct these antelopes because yeah, they shot better, some. But still yeah. shooting for fun and then this, well, you don't even know if they're all dead or if they lay. Yeah, like, that's horrible. Die yeah. over two days or something, you know, it's not ethical for me. Yeah, and that's a, a really small part because I don't know. And mm. what what is also true, you are getting a kind of of you know hunting fever, hunt mm. fever, or so buck fever they call it, and and you're more into blood than usually, and so on. That maybe also cause a kind of dynamic if you're in an area there's a lot of game, and so mm. you don't know. Yeah, but one out of hundred most probably, or something. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's always yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You always have on 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 around person and yeah, on. and that's in every sport and in every every the area. Yeah. Then on on the left and on the right, you have the extremists kind yeah. of yeah. like everywhere, like in yeah. politics. <laughs> yeah, and they are sport. even and there you you have to imagine they are even animal uh, rights activists or or anti hunting communities mm. and so and. And they won't wouldn't hesitate to kill a hunter mm -hmm. because they, they feel they have the right to kill the mm -hmm. hunter or to disturb their in a dangerous manner sometimes mm -hmm. hunts or something. Yeah. This is crazy. This mm -hmm. is crazy because yeah, they wouldn't mind if you kill another person, yeah. but if you but not the animal kill animal. a Bambi, you're mm -hmm. murderer. Yeah. Bambi. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you get remembered when you shot a Bambi. Of course, a roe is a lovely animal. Yeah. No question about it. A lovely. rabbit is a lovely, mm. cuddly animal. Yeah. No question about it. And and to overcome this and shoot this animal because you like to cook it, you like to have it, mm -hmm. then you know that it's always a decision. That you, it's always a decision that you stay alive and you dominate your environment in some kind, and you have to bury to 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 carry this this weight of the decision you have to make because you kill something, some animal, some being, mm -hmm. and and that's is in my opinion it's good you remember always remember this. Yeah. When you go to the supermarket and buy a packet of meat, then you have to but remember have to an animal, eh? it was a cuddly, nice, yeah. lovely animal. Yeah. And you are the guy who hired the killer to kill yeah. it for you. You are the reason they killed this animal. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And you get mm -hmm. back to this idea when you have to do it yourself. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But at least this animal grew up in a, in a nice environment. Of course, this would this should be the most expensive meat because it's like a big tear garden, a mm -hmm. big zoo where they're living up ah, a lot better, lots better. Yeah, than... Way better. Yeah. In yeah. Free in free nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So it's not so easy to judge about what other people are doing in their situation. Yeah. And once you see that in America, it's it's completely normal that yeah. they go out in hunting season to fill the fridge for the year. Yeah, because it's the best meat you can get. And that's the idea behind all this American hunting. As we said, it's very different, very different in Europe, where it's, it's connected to aristocracy and, and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I like the the, the you, how you call it the, the approach of the Americans mm. the hunting. Yeah. Like like Mac said last time in the video, how did he come to hunting? Because he had family, he had a kid, and he thought, so how can I give my kid now proper food? And the best food is the, the yeah. animals running in the forest. So he went without to... steroids and and exactly 
yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's, it's reasonable. And you got the and you get the challenge and the feeling yeah. that you're going back to your roots yeah, yeah. for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And and you go home and you look in the mirror and say, I'm a man, mm -hmm. I can feed my family. My family, exactly. Without money. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm the man. Yeah. I can I'm the man who can do this, mm -hmm. who's able to do this. And yeah. that's it good idea i think a good yeah. message to the mirror <laughs> i think it, it feels good yeah? i think it gives you some yeah. and yeah. you know if if everything breaks down if there's this blackout you're talking about i'm still able to feed my family exactly. yeah. i still yeah. can go out and hunt something yeah yeah mm. true yeah. because what is going on even imagine a blackout or a cyber attack and no supermarket is working or your 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 cryptocurrency is locked because of a system your, failure. Your water will not work. Yeah. Your you know your tap water will yeah. nothing will work. Then yeah. imagine. Yeah. And then yeah. you only know to go in a supermarket and buy your steak. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. Not going to work. Or or have your neighbors know that you have a full fridge? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then you're done, of course. Yeah. Mm. So in the last instance, always the weapon recounts. Yeah, of course. And the skills with it. Yeah. So I need to be able to use them properly. That's why these all, all these guys are doing that combat archery. Because they go to the supermarket. Chuk, chuk, chuk. No, you never know what you just said when you have a full fridge and then the neighbors come. You know, yep. they come directly five, six guys and you... <laughs> I, you know what I'm doing, mm -hmm. so I'm. I would be safe. Mm -hmm. I would write the big nameplate uh, Lars Anderson and put it on my wall. Or Bo Krause, of course. <laughs> no, no, then yeah, then of course yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or they get bad guys would piss in their truck. Oh, Bo is yes. leaving you. Oh, let's hurry up. Let's go out. Here. The Hell's Angels, <laughs> five hundred hardcore bikers come. <laughs> oh, oh uh, Bo Krause is leaving you. Wow, let's go. Uh, don't touch the, the bell. <laughs> they, they drop the bikes and run. <laughs> we make fun of someone. No, no, no reason. No, no. <laughs> it's all true. Now, the thing is, regarding Bo Kraus again, you know, don't play with fire if you can't stand the heat. It's as simple yep. as that. You know, I mean, when you can't deal with the consequences you create through your actions, I mean, then don't create these, these actions, you know. This is my... And, and I just can talk about my person, but I always was friendly with him. Me I too. never Me offended him. I never said a bad word to Bo Krause, never. Yeah, me neither. It once a little, where he was a little upset when we did the challenge, because I said, look, let's shoot 50 arrows in a row. I grab 50 arrows like this, shoot them, and you put 50 here, 10, and shoot five rounds with 10 arrows here. And let's do simply how can, who can shoot them faster? And this challenge but was not working for him that much, and then he hated it, and I don't know. But I didn't, I never said a bad word about Bo Krause. So, he was disappointed, but I don't know if I got you right because you said he wanted to marry you or, so, or he make you advances. Advances, or so. no, not, <laughs> not you, Carol. Oh, so, oh, 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 I got the writer you wrong. Of the book, not me. I think he's not gay. I don't think. got you. Got you wrong. <laughs> That's why, Bo. You know, don't shoot around. He, he you liked you as a perfect. as a. As a combat archery lust slave, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> lust <yeah>. boy. <laughs> oh, oh run, you naughty boy, run. Oh, like a dog. Uh, no, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to because uh, you start the head cinema, you know, we are not Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> 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 Uh, but Bo, you still can come to the show. It's no problem. We yeah, talk, yeah, yeah, can yeah. talk about everything. Nice. We start with your child. And man, he uh, could tell us. Huh? Uh, man, he could tell us uh, conspiracy theories and, a and lot. Yeah, a and, lot. And Satan is ruling the world and yeah, stuff like that. 
The Antichrist, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Reptiloids are harmless against his stories. <laughs> yeah, we see. <laughs> And now, uh, so I think An Angela Merkel also is a reptiloid, no? She is not. This is the thing is they are not reptiloids. They are controlled by them. But I have seen pictures where where they where they they pointed out how you can see her reptiloid yes, and eyes see and when when the controller comes a little too takes far, over and then it takes over. Then you see them in the eyes, the shape shifting. Okay, yes. okay. Because my question about that is now she quits as Kanzler, mm. as Reichs, Reichskanzlerin. Yeah. Uh, so she she went a step up to the to the world uh, government yep. I guess level, so. or she went down. I guess she went up because she did such a great job for the last I don't know how many fourteen years. Sixteen. 16. To ruin a country. Yes. And she was the climate counselor. She yeah. she saved the world from climate change. Will, she yeah. saved the mic the, the, the refugees she saved. Yeah. I, I think she directly drove to Davos <laughs> after she to, finished. To Klaus. Yeah, of course, to Klaus. I think they have a big bath hoop together and they're yes. sitting in the bath hoop and smoking a cigar. And you won't know who, which one is Klaus and which one is Angela Klaus, because they, they look they, similar. They look yeah, the they, same. They both, they both change the neutral, I guess. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew Junius, mm -hmm. Andrew Gunz, yeah. reptilians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. I think she stepped up because she said she will never. Even if they want her to, she will not continue in this position because she got a better position somewhere. She does not go into pension and stops doing what she did. And she claimed before she was chancellor that she hates Germany, and she did yeah. the best. And she did the best she could. Yeah. So, and she's she a. I always say she's a, a, a GDR communist sleeper. <laughs> they they they. Mm. put in place to destroy all the conservatives mm -hmm. in Germany. <laughs> she totally corrupted the CDU party, the, yep. the, the, the conservative party in Germany. Mm. Yeah. Nice job, Mr. Stalin, or, mm. or who was Brezhnev, <laughs> Mr. Brezhnev. But, but she was brought in by Kohl, right? By Kohl, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kohl yeah. said, oh, look, she would be the next one. And and no, you know one good. thing is sure, she she don't made it on the on the casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> she not <laughs> fucked her way up. To... <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, she had other qualities that she in in her in her qualities. Yeah, yeah, values, yeah. In her value, <laughs> yeah. In her values. values yeah. <laughs> what? Is wow. Yeah. 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 But you don't, you never know because uh, Cole was famous for eating uh, uh, pig stomach and something like that. Yeah, Maybe yeah, he, he has a kind of pervert, mm. <laughs> pervert crush on her. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. and she started as environment uh, uh, ministry. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, Umwelt, mm -hmm. environment uh, department. Yeah. yeah, and she was in the in the special unit run by the by the murderous Eastern Germany mm. regime. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of office of disinformation and mm -hmm. and and rioting or something like mm. that. Stasi. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. And 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 she's a woman. Wonderful. Yeah. Are you not sure? A lady, yeah. <laughs> the last time I read a post that she still lives in her small flat in Berlin. She doesn't. Of course, her. yeah. She's such a down to earth and, you know, yeah. people, people person. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, and, and uh, she's, I don't know how they would say it in English, but in German, always they say, the Kanzlerin is besorgt. Mm -hmm. She's having sorrow about mm -hmm. the, the, the status quo, and she's looking with so with 
Soros about mm. with George Soros and <laughs> other Soros. <laughs> we change his name, we will get deleted directly. <laughs> Rothschild, Soros, beep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, on the other side, you don't know as, as uh, I mean, when you see Cole, he had his issues or he learned it the hard way that he had to follow these orders. Because he had this idea once that the GEZ, the, the, this money you pay by law that you are allowed to watch TV, he said, look, this is not, not nice for my people. I want to put a law in order that we get rid of the GEZ. He liked to do this. Or? He wanted to do this. That was yeah. his idea. And they told him that he cannot do. Then he said, let's look, I'm the chancellor I can do. And then all of a sudden his wife died. And then I told him, listen, and this is a, a story I know from, from an insider. Yeah. And then they told him, listen, guy, you know, it's not only your wife. And then instantly, he said it was never a topic. Do you think, do you really think they, they, they could yeah. do this to, to Corey? Yes. yes. I, even know how they, I even know how they did it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, nice story. <laughs> it's this Freemason shit. Oh. Mm. You're just like Paul Krause with your conspiracies. Mm. Mine are not so much theoretical. That's the thing. I I don't know if Freemasons kill people. I don't know. Mm. No, why should they? If they if they kill more people than any other than any other institution or so, I don't know. I saw a map man with the ghost of four. No, did we tell we, me about the we, map. we leave it with theories? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, what I once heard, I don't know if it's true that the Jesuits like to to take over the lodges of the Freemasons and infiltrated the lodges were infiltrated from Jesuits because the Roman Catholic Church is a big enemy of the Freemasons and vice versa. Mm. You know, they always fought. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is true. No, I don't know. Yeah. But I don't think they have so many power than people think about them. Mm. I said it would be a theory, but I saw when you see the map of Europe or greater Europe, and then they show you, look, strategically, we place a bomb here in the sea and it will cause a tsunami in this direction and this part of Portugal will be gone. And we have here and this part of the Netherlands and part of Germany until Hanover is gone. And when you see this all, planned out already as a strategical plan. Yeah. You never know the source of these information. That's the problem with all that stuff. Or from a Freemason. Yeah, but you don't know. It's, it's as close as I could get to it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not a Freemason. That's why I'm not into it. That's why I once I was I joined the Rotary Club. Mm -hmm. But they I didn't know them good enough. They're nice people. It's but, a recruiting station for them here. <laughs> but they are totally into uh, donating money for crazy things. And that mm -hmm. was what I disliked about it. But mm -hmm. in common, these were nice folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we had every week with interesting uh, speeches, you know, they had a guest speaker, different mm -hmm. uh, politician or doctor or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. But mm -hmm. it is like hunting, you have to do it once to know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, then you know if you like it or not. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. We Nothing. had everything, Freemasons, reptiloids, viruses. Yeah, archery a bit. A bit yeah. big bit of archery, yeah. Oh, quite some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we leave it for today.
yeah next week we have uh, martin spurry from from switzerland he's also a kind of your league combat no. archer or i have no league <laughs> i'm simply an archer i only shoot bow and arrow panama leagues so are how they call it wiki leaks <laughs> no leaks yeah. i'm leaking sometimes but it's a different thing i mean an age Le like leaking at this two years <laughs> leaking and leaking and oh, yeah i know yeah, oh. yeah. I, i'm leaking when she's leaking now it's okay lucky i'm lucky when she's leaking <laughs> and <laughs> i can leaking. Lucky. <laughs> lucky leaking when she's leaking <laughs> Lucky look. <laughs> Lucky look. <laughs> Lucky look. <laughs> she, got a, she, uh, she got a lucky look. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I, we, 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 we went down that horrible, naughty things. Really? We, we when, have... when, when did we start being naughty? I don't know. We even don't start it. Yeah, exactly. We have to. <laughs> so don't get me started. <laughs> um, no, we are family friendly show, and so exactly. we don't say <laughs> anything <laughs> naughty. And uh, the, the thing is, with this many snowflakes, you only say good morning, and they're already pissed because it's twelve o'clock, and you need to say good good day or something. You know that's why you never know. And how can you call it call it a good morning if they are? It's climate change and a, a okay. pandemic. Yeah, and, yeah, we live in a pandemic. And all the, all the blackouts are coming. How can you talk females about Females are suppressed and the gays and the mask. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is suppressed. Yeah. And you yes. say just a good morning. Exactly. <laughs> you must be crazy. Total out of your mind. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. it's, it's forbidden to say anything good about the world or everything if you say mm. oh look that's nice a nice nice company they're making chocolate or something <laughs> what nice comp these are all the suppressed their exactly. employees slavery and, 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 and they put sugar into their stuff and yeah. and they, they cause cancer and they yeah. they steal the water in africa mm -hmm. and and coca-cola is made by freemasons and so on it's yeah. totally yeah. crazy yeah. whatever mm -hmm. you can do nothing <laughs> <laughs> you can sit relax and enjoy the show no, you have to be a communist or socialist to say, wow, the world is bad. Everything is so mm. horrible. We have to change the system. Yes, kill all the riches. Or, or then you're nice. And, and wow, the climate change and virus and, and all these mm. black babies in Congo. And oh, what is with them now? <laughs> Where are they now? Then you're a nice person, and you have to wear a mask and <laughs> at least three shots and, of and some show three bullet holes here. Yeah, flu course. flu <laughs> vaccination, uh, flu flu, hey, <laughs> flu flu. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a double shot. The flu flu. The I flu have an flu. arrow like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, flu, yeah. Flu. So the flu flu arrows. Exactly. So. This is where they come from. From the vaccine. Yeah, because, be yeah, because they shot the the flu uh, exactly. infected. Took the flu away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you say everything is horrible, then you're a good person. If you mm. say something is good, mm -hmm. oh, the chicken tastes good. Chicken? Oh, it's made in Poland by, <laughs> I don't know, Freemasons. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a good coffee today. So, but I don't oh. know where the heck the water was, was it coming fair from. trade? No. <laughs> they steal the coffee from the little farmers. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now it's but, even it's it's really like this that in China many good tea farmers switched now to coffee because Costa Coffee pays them more money when they make coffee instead of selling the tea. So even they lose this part of culture soon. To but I, what, I, I don't believe that story. You know why? Mm. Because I don't think they have, have the possibility possibility to choose what they are planting <laughs> <laughs> they tell them what they have to plant be sure Maybe. no i don't know how communist they are totally communist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is not not half communist you are either communist or not 
to, when I was in China, they don't were communists. To me, they, <laughs> they were capitalists. Okay. Yeah. For me too. That's why they go for when Starbucks tell them, "Listen, we pay you more when you yeah. make coffee." Then they they grow coffee instead of tea. Yep. It's capitalist, not communist. Yep. And that's the trick. They they treat they they they, they treat the the people like in a communist regime. Mm. But the upper class, the yeah, the 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 man in black. Now these are my pinhole glasses. You see that? Yeah. There are small holes in it. And if so I, if I want to read there something without, I can't read. There are no glasses in it. Yeah. There's only the small holes. Then I can read everything. It's mm. interesting. It's not a conspiracy. It's just Look, a looks like 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 uh, for a fly. Yeah, well then there's holes in it. You don't see it now, of course. I see it, yeah, I see it. Pinhole glasses. There you go. I really can read and see close distance everything with these ones without having glasses on it. And it trains your eye muscles again. Okay. That you don't mm -hmm. need always the other glasses. Because otherwise, when I read, I need always these ones. And, and uh, where they are made? Yeah, most probably in China, but I bought it in Germany for a lot of money. But I saw in that you can get them in China for a fourth of the price. It's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. It's really interesting. It really is. And they say that it trains your, your eye muscles again, that you get a better eyesight over time. But last time I found them again, because I have them since years and I never used them. <laughs> because I'm a lazy look, guy. Look very cool. <laughs> so a small what? hole. Small hole. Pin 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 hole. Pin. pin, hole. pin. Pinhole. There are even pinhole cameras, you know, when they didn't have lenses. Yeah, yeah. They had yeah, simply yeah. small hole, and then in in the backside the, the the film, and then they put it there for five days yeah. or something. Yeah. And uh, I have a nice book about this, uh, the very very first projections, like with this Laterna Magica and yeah. so on, were used by the stage magicians and mm -hmm. by 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 uh, theaters, you know, mm -hmm. by by how is it called, like Shakespeare and so. Mm -hmm. um uh to make ghosts on mm -hmm. stage mm -hmm. where they can walk through and but yeah, and, yeah. and it was in the kind of the trench where this this cinema trench mm -hmm. is in the theater mm -hmm. and a very sophisticated thing because mm -hmm. it was uh, pro, uh it was it was on the head you know it was mm -hmm. upside, upside down, down. Yeah. And so they had to have another mirror who makes mm -hmm. it flip stand. it again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very complicated, but yeah. they but fascinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's also interesting because uh, this stage stage magician stuff is very connect, connected to the first movie makers and and, mm -hmm. and you know because they used this this yeah. trick first. Yeah, yeah, of course. Interesting. Yeah, of course. But we stop now, otherwise we end up with why do giraffes have such a long neck? Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's a never ending. Why do they have such a long neck? I don't know. <laughs> so so they, they can the, 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 the fruits in the upper part of the tree, obviously. Yes, but the same would be true with rhinoceros, isn't it? They don't have a long neck. Uh, yes, but they could have, so they can reach the <laughs> yeah. but it would not look so aesthetically pleasing i guess yes but the same logic when or you say they have this long leg neck to reach these fruits yes and you could say okay and this animal and this and this yeah, and this is it's the fruit in this side and and the giraffe eats the fruit in this side so that the whole tree it will be eaten but there are no no semi giraffes for the. That's true. Yeah, there's no middle ground there. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, have have dwarf or bonsai giraffes. Yeah. Bonsai, yes. You just have have to cut their legs yeah, yeah, frequently. Yeah. <laughs> or, I mean, this guy who invented all this stuff must be on drugs. You know, it's just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he sits there and he has this horse. Guy. And he thinks, no, no, let me, let me. Or he had one of these first Photoshop, and then he had a horse, and then he like, oh, look, that looks fancy. Shit. A horse with the long neck. <laughs> Come on, we make it. And so we, we have it. to make larger trees too. <laughs> exactly. Oh, same it. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And they started up with, with the dinosaurs and, and animals. Yes, like but they that. had long necks too already. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So maybe it's a leftover, it's a dinosaur, maybe. Yeah, without maybe feathers. It's, yeah. it's a less dinosaur. A giraffe is a less dinosaur on the planet. Maybe. So please don't kill the giraffes. They are the last dinosaurs. They survived the 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 the, 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 the comet and the, this this you know the, the what what came on the on the planet and wiped them out. I think it was a virus. I but think it was the a dinosaurs. Virus. Yeah, I think it was a first form of of Wuhan virus. I don't know. I think it was a kind of climate. Uh, <laughs> made, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And I, I believe in that theory. There's a big um, uh, meteor storm <clears throat> hit the Earth mm -hmm. and 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 melted all the ice and so okay. on and 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 destroyed the environment and so on. Well, what I also don't believe is they say I heard it from a scientist uh, that the humans extinct the mammoths. Mm. No, why should we? And. Why should you especially extinct the biggest animal on earth mm -hmm. and not the buffaloes or the goats or the it's only to make us feel bad? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but these scientists are again paid, you know. The the, the yeah. thing is scientists tell you, you know, from where they get the money from. Paid by Bill Gates and yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a big conspiracy about the Smithsonian Institute in, yeah. in the United States because Yes, they brought the, the skeletons of giants or of Bigfoot mm -hmm. or of Sasquatch or of mm -hmm. kind of monsters to the Smithsonian, to the scientists, so they, they can examine these mm -hmm. findings and so on. But they put it in a box and do it into the basement. And mm -hmm. they said, no, we never got the skeleton. That's mm. a conspiracy. They have lots of, of, of evidence for all the crazy stuff but mm. they keep it in the basement so yeah like also in era 61 where they have these aliens you know but they never had aliens. like that yeah 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 mm. yeah, yeah yeah and if you find an alien and you you go to area 51 say look i find an alien they say oh yes give it to us and yeah, then it's in the basement it's yeah and they say oh no we never got any aliens well, he brought an alien he's a conspiracy theorist yeah, yeah, look yeah. he has an aluminum head on his side yeah, yeah. yeah and the same they say there's some kind of alternative uh, history mm. about the united states and all the animals and also people and so mm -hmm. on and, and they keep it in the basement so nobody would find out mm -hmm. of course and if sometimes a person finds something mm. they try to get it and mm -hmm. like in the indiana jones warehouse where the Ark of the Convin, mm -hmm. yeah, Convin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they store it in a big warehouse mm -hmm. and exactly. thousands of boxes. Yeah, like that. Leave it there. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that it's actually really true. I think that the, all these things which could cause or could bring some truth up, they simply hide and simply, okay, we put it away. And... Uh, yeah, but on the other hand, there are people, mm. they, they like to write the book about. Bigfoot, let's say, mm. or a lost tribe of giants in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they make some kind of pictures mm -hmm. and then they say, and then we handed all that stuff mm -hmm. over to the Smithsonian and mm -hmm. now it's gone. But yeah. we have the proof, but they mm -hmm. keep it. Yeah. And so you have a legitimation for the book. You know, it's very, mm. they're on the other side. They're also bad persons. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I it's, uh... Yeah, and so to say, it's all true, but the Smithsonian, you know, yeah, of course, everything you bring them, they just keep silent, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I don't know. No, we, we because we what would be the explanation? Why should we be pro even with the with the aliens? Mm. What's the problem if they tell me tomorrow? In the news, we have found some dead aliens or mm. living aliens. Okay. And then? Mm. Of course, yeah, you have but to But that think. would mean, because we, 
I mean, we never left this planet. We didn't even land on moon, in my opinion. And then an alien comes here, a small gray guy, and he flew through a whole galaxy that would simply show that our most genius engineers are still not capable of doing this. So that's why they don't want to have, and they're afraid, of course, because these people, these aliens, need to be very no, smart. They, no, yes, but they can say, oh, look, they are so advanced, and oh, you wouldn't believe. That's yeah, not, that's too, le that's less, that's too less for me. That's not mm. enough for me. The, the other explanations that they say, yes, because there would be chaos and suicides and because mm. just they know there are aliens out there and so on. And the church don't like it because then no, no one, not one religion would survive this. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No aliens. If they would come with bow and arrow, I would say interesting. I think like, they... like like we have now Russell Crowe right now on the island for a movie, and I wrote in one comment I would like to shoot some arrows with him, <laughs> but he gotten a little old and fat. <laughs> Maybe there would be alien bow hunters mm -hmm. also just hunting for sports with yeah, a bow maybe. and arrow because they are able to fly through the galaxies yeah. but they have sophisticated weapons but they keep it down yeah, to for sports yeah yeah, yeah. like not? predator like exactly. movie, just yeah. thought about the movie yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's no, a good never... movie oh interesting uh... yeah uh, interesting idea yeah that they land here and then they simply go hunting yeah exactly yeah like we do, we drive to another continent and hunt, yeah. hunt animals there we yeah. never would see mm -hmm. because we like that exotic stuff and they do the same with planets. Yep. Interesting idea. Mm. Okay. Shall we finish? Okay. We, we start, otherwise, yeah. we, we talk two hours rubbish and that's yeah. it, really. Hmm. Yeah. So next we, week, we have Martin Spurry. Let's hope everything works yeah. out and we have one of these fast shooters. Yes, in the show. Lo looking forward to this. Yes, it's more for your. Uh, uh, how they called for they the, stop uh, complaining that we only talk about for, something and for you know, for the the arm insect for the Asiatic bow shooters, not the arm insect. There is no arm insect. <laughs> but on the, the other side, it's the interesting. Gurus. No, but on the other side, it's interesting. Last time, a guy from America told me that his wife said, we need to go to the city because she needs something. And then he saw an archery shop there and then he went in and then he asked, oh, look, they had only one traditional bow if they can string it. And then it unstrung always. And then I said, yeah, does nobody have an idea here? And then one of them said, yeah, you should watch, I mean, here my YouTube channel. And then everybody, what, you watch it too? You? And then all of them in the shop, they watch my YouTube channel. Yeah. That's quite a compliment, I'd say. It's really, it's really, I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's true, it's a compliment. No, it's, it's, it's a quite old guy and a humble guy, I guess. I trust you. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. But that's, that's a nice compliment. Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm. Okay. So, yeah, so now finish. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, for keeping up with us and our talk. And how you, how you say for your sect followers, Namaste or something like that. No, I say always thank you very much for watching. I catch you. <laughs> I see, yeah. <laughs> it's more the martial artists greeting, not the sect. Um, every martial art will understand. Yeah, this... <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching, guys, and send us questions if you have some questions for Martin Spurry. Yep. Write us in the comment section and then we will ask him next time. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you, Goodbye. Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Armin. Goodbye. And, and Bo, don't forget, write to us that we can invite you to the show. Yeah.